Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I never thought I'd be saying this, but in this video, we are going to talk about Bitcoin Layer 2 project. I know, it, it sounds weird in my head when I'm saying this, but here we are, uh, Bitcoin Layer 2 project. Uh, the project name is Rootstock, not a new project. It has been here for some time. I'm, I'm personally very late in learning about this, but I don't want you guys to be more late than I am. So here's the video on Rootstock. What is Rootstock? What is Bitcoin there to project? What is it going to achieve? What it has achieved? What difference is it going to make? What impact it is creating or is it going to create further? That is what we're going to talk about in this video. Make sure that you watch till the end because this video is going to be very, very important. So uh, make sure that you watch till the end. I'll give you guys all the links in the description. Uh, I learned about some, you know, some campaigns, some promotional campaigns that they're running through which you can actually, um, you know, earn some rewards. I think they are giving away some NFTs. So if you're interested, you know, in it, uh, make sure that you watch till the end because at some point I'm going to talk about the giveaway. The links will be in the description so you can learn about it yourself. You can check it out and the rest is up to you what you want to do with it. But yeah, uh, as always, this is not going to be an investment or a financial advice. They do have their own token, which is a lot more complicated than just paying a token. So, um, you know, do your own investigation and research. Now, let's get into details. What is Rootstock? The, the symbol is actually RSK. Um, like I said, this is Bitcoin Layer 2 project. It is the Bitcoin's first and longest running sidechain. What it is doing is it is bringing the benefits of Bitcoin security, store of value, widespread adoption, decentralization with the benefit of Ethereum's that is the most profound one is the functionality of the smart contracts, programmability, uh, token utility, and active developing community. So why Bitcoin acts as a store of value as a payment gateway, but Bitcoin in itself does not have capabilities to use smart contracts in those to develop D apps on the you know on it. The Bitcoin base layer it does not have programmability. It is very limited in this sense. But in the opposite, Ethereum is different. It has the option for, you know, deploying the apps to use uh, smart contracts. But on the other hand, the, the security of Bitcoin, that is incomparable. So what Rootstock is doing, it is bridging Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it has all the features of Bitcoin, but it also has the smart contract functionality of, of Ethereum. That is what Rootstock is. And in a nutshell, that is what Rootstock is. But um, I think it'll be... Uh, a very vague conclusion to say that this is all about root song. There's actually a lot more that goes into it. There's a lot of functionalities, a lot of features about root stock that we still have to learn. And that is going to open up this whole ecosystem to us uh, that we can engage with in different ways. So if we are going to give out a proper introduction to root stock, it is a smart contract platform that aims to bridge the gap between Bitcoin and Ethereum. It brings Ethereum compatible functionality to the Bitcoin blockchain, allowing developers to build decentralized applications and execute smart contracts. If we are going to, you know, conclude Rootstock in a few words, I would say it is a bridge, it is a powerhouse, and it is a game changer. Now, first of all, we know the issue that Bitcoin has, the base layer has limited programmability and it does not support smart contracts. But this is where Rootstock comes in. It enables fully autonomous smart contracts, which allows developers to build decentralized applications on top of Bitcoin, which we never thought would be possible. Now, of course, everyone will be wondering, how is this possible? I'll explain this in the most simplest way that I know. Uh, first of all, we know what's, what our RSK or Rootstock is doing. It inherits the robust um, security of Bitcoin, uh, which makes it a safe playground for smart contracts. If you talk about the store of value, which Bitcoin is, what it does is it has its own token, that is the RBTC, uh, which maintains value like Bitcoin. And on top of that, we have the Ethereum-like features, which is smart contracts, programmability, and token utility, which is all on the rootstock. Now, this is how it has been made possible by rootstock. It uses a sidechain that is secured by Bitcoin miners. 
Um, here's a simple overview. Users lock BTC, Bitcoin, uh, on the main chain. And these Bitcoins, they are pegged to the RSK tokens, which are called RBTC. Uh, and this is on the RSK, the, the side chain. So the smart contracts, they execute on rootstock, um, which benefits from the Ethereum-like functionality. And when needed, users can redeem RBTC for BTC. Uh, so they can move freely and then move back to Bitcoin on the main chain. Now let's talk about some of the features of RSK. First of all, we talked about the smart contracts functionality. So it supports Solidity, uh, which is the same programming language that is used for Ethereum smart contracts. Um, then we have a concept that is called merged mining security. In this RSK, it piggybacks uh, on Bitcoin security by merge mining uh, with Bitcoin miners. This is basically a technique that allows Bitcoin miners to mine other cryptocurrencies simultaneously with nearly zero marginal cost. Um, then we also have a two-way peg that we just discussed. So you can move between Bitcoin to RSK and back to Bitcoin via a two-way peg mechanism. And we actually have faster transactions compared to Ethereum. And then we also have interoperability or cross-chain compatibility. So we can interact with other blockchains freely. Um, now I do understand that the concept of merged mining, which is I think at the core of Rootstock, it can be complicated. Um, so here's some more details about merge mining for those of you guys who are interested uh, because it has a lot of you know advantages uh, for rootstock uh, first of all the first benefit is boosting the bitcoin network so the the rsk executes more uh, complex transactions that can be paid using bitcoin so this helps the ecosystem grow and contribute to long-term sustainability the other benefit advan advantage is enhanced security so because of merge mining rsk is one of the most secure smart contracts platforms globally uh, it leverages bitcoin surplus uh, security infrastructure so i think this was pretty much given and there's no additional cost in this merge mining so the miners who are mining bitcoin they can use their existing bitcoin mining infrastructure to mine rsk uh, they don't need new or better uh, hardware then we have advantage in stability and consistency. So Merge Mining stabilizes the RSK network by securing it with a large group of Bitcoin miners. Now this consistency, it ensures predictable block times and network performance. I think this is where it's safe to stop. There are a lot of details. And if we talk about the developer, you know, development side of it, there is even more um, details and information about rootstock which of course is going to get a lot complicated but the point is this is something revolutionary this is a game changer in this sector bitcoin is something we are all aware of but one thing that is what it was missing was because the, the base layer it is very limited there is no changes that can be made on it um, you cannot add new functionalities you cannot have token utility on bitcoin you cannot have smart contracts on on bitcoin you cannot have d apps on it so with all that security and everything everything that it has you still cannot make much use of it so bitcoin is just acting as a store of value um, but now they're using all those features and combining it with the features that ethereum provides so it's combining the best of two worlds that is what rootstock is that is what the importance of rootstock is and because of it, I think this is an ecosystem that we should, you know, all be part of, that we should keep an eye on because it has so much to offer. There's actually another token in this ecosystem that goes by the name of RIF. We actually have their Twitter account, Rift Technology, which I'm going to share in the description. Uh, this is part of the Rootstock ecosystem, and it is used to consume a lot of different protocols and products like we have usd riff uh, a stable a us stable coin the rns which is a uh, username service um, like we have ens on ethereum and then an open source wallet framework and more so this is a whole ecosystem where you can engage with different i would say products with different tokens um, that we can eventually benefit from in some in one way or another and on top of it we do have some campaigns some promotional campaigns or giveaways if you can call it that uh, that we can take part in uh, it's going to take a few clicks and uh, we can possibly earn rewards in the form of nfts so since i promised i'm going to give more details on it so the campaign that we have is on the galaxy glxe i'm going to share the link in the description 
and it will be shared it already has been shared by sushi swap uh, and some of the pudgy penguin community the nft is actually the pudgy penguin and it is it's already actually started um, a few days ago on 25th of june and it is going to end on 2nd of july so we don't have a lot of time left to it uh, it's only here for one week and the prizes they're giving away is two pudgies nfts and one uh, ethcc ticket so in the first week raffle the task that we need to perform is we bridge some amount uh, into rootstock using either symbiosis jumper chain port or any other ecosystem um, uh, cross chain protocol we do at least one swap using sushi we follow sushi and rootstock on x and we retweet the announcement you can actually get more details about it from the from this tweet of from the sushi.com and this is actually we have full details on their blog right here and we also have this application uh, this link on the galaxy uh, the quest and when you open it up this is how it seems like so you can get all the details right here we have this uh, it says get ready to win a little pudgy in the rootstock summer snowstorm where the chill of adventure awaits to cool your hot crypto summer days this is the date and um, enter the quest provided by sushi okay and wood swap so uh, you need to log in into it to be able to part, you know take part in this and the steps are pretty straightforward you follow rootstock on twitter you follow sushi Sub on twitter and then you follow uh okay trade on twitter and then you follow rootstock on twitter so you get 50 more points you get one nft and 20 points in this you get 50 points in this um and then you get 108 by following rootstock on twitter and also follow rootstock on twitter so it, it it only requires a few clicks for us to do and we can take part in this campaign and we can possibly win something so this i believe is um all i have for you guys uh, i'm pretty sure there's a lot of information about rootstock that i missed but to keep it simple i think this is uh, the best way you know the best point to stop uh if there's more details required maybe we can do an interview we can do an ama session afterwards um that'll be completely up to you guys uh if you want it so let me know in the comment section um if you're interested in it um if you have any question of course do put those down in the comment section and yeah, this is all of you guys in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned.